from the Penn Libraries. Okay, in the last video we show how we can insert text on a slide using the layouts that already come with PowerPoint and make our life a lot easier. In this video we're gonna see how we can insert text from scratch on a blank slide or um, on a slide that we have used the layout but um, if we want to insert text in a different place. For example, if we have the slide like this, we have used the list layout, but let's say we want to add text right here. For this, we need to use a text box. The text box is the frame that will hold the text because text does not float on the slide by itself. It needs a frame. When you use the layout, the layout, the placeholder, is the frame. When you do things from scratch, you have to create the frame yourself and the frame is the text box. To insert a text box we're gonna go to the insert menu, select text box and be here because I'm using the 2003 version I have a choice between a horizontal and a vertical text box. If you're using version 2002 or earlier you will not see this option you will just see the option text box. In this case, I'm going to select horizontal. Now, notice my cursor has changed shape and it looks like an upside down cross now. This means I'm ready to draw my text box. So I will do a left click and hold down the mouse button and drag across the slide. When I release the mouse button, I'm ready to type and you can tell that because the cursor is blinking. So here you have to type something right away because if you don't and if you forget and click outside then you lose the text box. In fact you have actually not lost the text box but you don't see it because there is nothing in it and there is no border or anything else. So let's do that again insert text box horizontal I'm gonna draw the text box and then I'm gonna type something right away so that I don't lose it. I click outside the text box, text box disappears. Same story with the placeholder. If you don't format the text box so that you see a border or a fill color, then you actually don't see the frame. The frame is holding the text, but it's invisible. So let's select it and do, go to the format menu. Here you will notice that the command is format text box you don't see format placeholder because the terminology is different they're basically the same thing the frame for the text but when you create it yourself it's called a text box whereas when you use the PowerPoint text boxes they're called placeholders so I'm gonna select format text box and you will see that the dialogue is exactly the same so we can go ahead and do the same things we did with the placeholder I'm gonna select a fill color I'm gonna select the line style for my line etc etc I'm just playing here so I got this text box same idea as the placeholder now I'm gonna select this text box and I will go back to the format text box dialog in order to, to explore the other tabs that you have on this dialog you have size tabs and position tabs now you can manipulate the size and the position of the object from this dialog but as you see in order to do that you have to insert numbers and this for many people this is very uh, too abstract so it doesn't work as well so many people prefer to use the mouse to do these things because it's visual way to do it as opposed to the numbers on this dialog so I will not deal with this today on this tutorial you can play with them and see how they work or you can use them when you need precision which you cannot get using the mouse but in general um, the mouse is a lot easier way to do it 
So I'm going to show you how to do how to resize and change the position of the object with the mouse in a little bit. For now, I want to focus on this uh, last tab on the format text box dialog, um, which is a text box tab and allows you to um, make a selection as to where you want the text to be in relation to the box. The default text anchor point, as it is called, is top, but you can change this to middle, bottom, top, center, or in this case I'm going to choose bottom, center. The margins refer to the distance between the text box, the border, and the text itself. So this distance right here and here. You see what the defaults are, so you can play with this and change them and see how that would work. Now I'm going to undo this and go back to the dialog and I will just get back to the bottom centered anchor point and I'm going to explain what this word wrap text in auto shape is. The word wrap is what allows you to get new lines as you get more text and let's see how that will work. I keep adding text to my text box and I get more lines. If the option word wrap is turned off, instead as you can see the box is trying to accommodate all the text in one line. Sometimes this may be what you want but most often it's not. So this option is good to be turned on, word wrap. The next option is the resize auto shape, to, auto shape to fit the text option and this is what does not allow the text box to get bigger than the text that is in it. And let me show you an example. First of all, let me get rid of some of the text here. So now I'm going to resize the te text box and you see it doesn't allow me. Don't worry about how I resize, I'm going to show this in a little while. For now just notice that I'm trying to resize, make the text box higher and it doesn't let me. And it's all because under the text box tab this feature is turned on, resize auto shape to fit the text. So this does not allow the text box to get higher than the lines of text it has. If I turn it off, now I'm able to resize. One last thing under that tab is the rotate text within the auto shape by 90 degrees. This rotates the text only, not the box, just the text in it. And this is how it would look like. This is different than rotating the box itself and we're going to see this a little, little bit. So let me turn this back off and click OK and now let's talk about resizing using the mouse. If you notice around the object when it's selected you see those little circles? These are called the handles of the object and they give you control to the object. So if you mouse over these handles you see that depending on which handle you mouse over you get the pointer to look differently. So when I mouse over the left, the side handles, it looks like either a horizontal or vertical two-sided arrow. If I click there and drag, I'm resizing the object from one side only. So it's disproportional, yeah? I can do that either side. This may or may not be what you want to do. In text boxes it doesn't really matter. 
but if you do it in images then you will distort the image so you, then you have to resize the object proportionally which means that you have to mouse over the corner handle here get the diagonal arrow and then click and drag as you see in that case you resize proportionally finally you have this little green bullet here and if you mouse over that your pointer becomes a circular arrow and this is the shortcut for rotating the object now notice that this rotates the whole text box as opposed to if you remember under the text box this option here which rotates the text within the text box you can only rotate the text within the text box by 90 degrees you don't have other options on the other hand you can rotate the object itself freely so you can choose any degree of rotation I'm gonna stop for this video and I will continue with drawing objects and we're gonna see more options there